So now we've finally got our first Google Stadia title that supports Stadia Stream Connect. We've been playing to better understand just what it is and why you might be interested in the game streaming services extra add-on. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Be sure to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Right, so you're probably wondering what we're talking about when we mention Stadia Stream Connect. Well, it's essentially couch co-op for the internet era. In basic terms, that means when you're playing a title, you get a concurrent live stream in game with every other cooperative player's feed, all in real time and in high resolution. Because games nowadays require much more hardware grunt, it's actually harder to maintain graphical quality and then have separate instances of the game running in split screen concurrently on the same console. Sadia sidesteps this by simply stitching multiple cloud stream instances together without any of the associated overheads and potential performance dips. Now this feature has launched with probably the game series that you would have expected, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, which is a co-op game from the very outset. Because of that, it's also worth noting that Stream Connect is enabled as standard, so if you would rather immerse yourself in the game and not have extra distractions on your online teammates, then you can disable it from the in-game settings right from the off. When in-game, Stream Connect actually presents itself right away and Ubisoft has made it seamless as it possibly could. I'd kind of describe it as extra mini-maps on a game UI, but this is far superior in many ways. So that means you've got up to four players in a game at any given time. Of course, you're streaming and you're also being fed up to three extra 1080p streams of your teammates in real time with no delays, no lag, no hiccups, or at least that has been my experience. In full flow in a game such as this, which encourages timing and teamwork, it's really actually quite impressive. Even more so when you don't need to constantly tell your other players where you are or what they happen to be doing at that particular time. Just a quick look in the top right of your screen and you can literally see everything they see, even if they are dipping in and out of the in-game menus. It's worth noting though that any friends list information and Stadia dashboards are obscured or hidden from these little live feeds, which is great for privacy when you're gaming with players you don't know. Of course, I'm lucky in that I have a good solid internet connection, so for me, lag is only an issue if I'm having internal networking problems or router issues, but it is unclear how smooth the experience will be on slower connections. That said, I have to say it really feels like couch co-op, but updated enhanced for the internet era. It's so cool to see essentially four players in one view pane with no delays, no lag, and with the added element of the gameplay bonuses. Now, of course, Google was quick to show off some tech demos back when unveiling Stadia. If we get even close to what was promised and developers are willing to build out co-op games with Stream Connect baked in from the start, then wow, the possibilities are probably pretty endless. Of course, we're excited to see Stream Connect develop and improve alongside Stadia over the next few months. With only one game to test on, the results so far have been pretty impressive, if a little basic. So with all that said, if you have any questions, let us know down there in the comments section below. Of course, we'd also love to know if you want to see more Stadia related content, be that live streams, game reviews or more. Let us know down there in the same place. Until next time, this is Damien with 95Google. Thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.